This is Mario Central. Here with you today at Star Hill, or at least I think that's what the name is. I'm not even that sure. Goombario's good at remembering these type of things, but unfortunately, I cannot talk to him as I could in other Paper Mario games. Well, I, actually, can I talk to him in this game? I'm not even that sure. Oh, sorry, 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 so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's... Oh, you're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. <laughs> I see what you did there, Twink, and I like it. You've got spunk, kid, and that plays well in this business. Here, this is it. Take it. Oh, that's what it is. I completely... I just thought you could do the action commands from the beginning. I completely forgot you don't get it until a little bit later. Now, you see, this is something that I feel... Oh, wait, I didn't mean to... Oh, well, I guess I'm doing the tutorial even though I didn't want to. Whoops. <laughs> well, he's basically going to explain that you can get another hit and also you can defend against enemies. So this gives uh, this game a slight edge over a lot of RPGs because... With a lot of RPGs, you just kind of input the commands, they do it for you, and that's it. But with this game, it's interactive. If you are able to time it right, then you can actually dodge against the attack. It's pretty darn useful, and it's something that is a trademark of this series, and also the Mario & Luigi series. More so the Mario & Luigi series, it's more easier to do these things. But man, I just, I love these commands in these games, because it just gives a nice spin on a very traditional RPG formula. I don't need any more training. Forget you. I can't remember, though, if it was at the beginning or towards the end, because I'm pretty sure in Paper Mario Thousand Your Door, it comes at the direct beginning, right? Or am I just not remembering again? <laughs> here you are. Oh, what a oh, it's Kamek. What are you doing here? Oh, it's probably his Kamek, just one of the other henchmen. <laughs> you can't even tell the difference half of the time. You think that would be Kamek. Probably Kamek is more blue, more navy blue. <laughs> That's too light blue to be Kamek. Because, uh, honestly, he just looks like a regular Magiku, but it's so hard to distinguish the difference. In fact, I think he even had a battle where he was battling with a couple of just ra regular Magikupa henchmen. I don't know if that was in Mario Luigi or not, though. But as you can see, the power jump is just very, very good against these guys. I don't think... I can't remember if Goombario and stuff gets uh, more upgraded moves. Oh yes, they do, but we will get back into that a later time. Now you can see how much more easier it is to damage enemies. Now we can actually do double the damage, and we leveled up, believe it or not. I think what I'm going to do is going to upgrade my FP, because we're running quite low on that right now, and I like that power bounce. It's very useful. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. You must wish to the stars for that power to come. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to rub in the current situation to you. <laughs> Whoops, Mario's just not that sensitive, is he? That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. <gasps> Mario to the rescue, indeed! <laughs> what have I been talking about? That is Mario's dream come true. Mario will be there in lickety split. There he goes, back to Bowser Castle. What a brave little guy. You call him brave, what are we doing? <laughs> we took on a couple of blue and red Goomba bros, and then we took on a Goomba king. I mean, if anything, we're the brave people here, not just him. He's just flying back and forth. Oh, yeah. Real dangerous. But we gotta give him some credit. <laughs> he's flying all the way here, even though he's not a fully powered up star. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. Oh, jeez, don't. <laughs> he's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Well, he seems like a couch potato. Don't worry, I'll change him. Mario has a habit of doing that to people. <laughs> He'll get them all energized and eccentric once again. Let me talk to these Toad Zones more. Maybe they'll let me go by. You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to Koopa Bros. Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask old man Merlon for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. What are you talking about? No, no, I can even jump over you. You guys are too tiny. No, no, let me... Come on, just... no, oh, you meanies. Don't worry, I'll clear that blockade in just a second. Merlon! Merlon's out! Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you he's out! Oh, what the... Jeez, how about... <laughs> a very welcoming guest. I guess he's not. Wait a minute, that face seems very familiar to me. 
Oh, maybe. Oh, yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. <laughs> well, Merlon. You just... He is totally a couch potato. He was probably watching his favorite show on that crystal ball there. And then he's like, no one shall disturb me. I want to watch my daily soap operas. <laughs> But Mario always throws a wrench into that because he heard from the prophecy and now I am here and he must help me. It was in the old days when my ancestors was up on shooting star summit and as usual. But one day it happened, suddenly a great appeared and I standing face to face. Then the far away the pious that was raised me up was amazing. I was still so young then I believed in but our hearts were and then uh, so. Uh -huh. And my life story continues. Were my love. <laughs> and that is all that matters. Usually with these stories, they always end up talking about like some long lost love that they had and that is why they became the prophecy, <laughs> the fortune telling people that they are today. They, but they, I don't think that was the case this time. I wasn't really paying attention to his story. Whoops. According to my second sight, your path must take you to the great fortress of the Cooper Bros. To reach the Cooper Bros, fortress head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Uh, excuse me, Merlon, but there's a little bit of a problem. You see, these guys are just lining up, and I can't even move past them, and I can't even jump over them for some odd reason, so you're gonna, you're gonna have to do something for me. Just this once. Yeah, there you go, Merlon. Wait, I could beat you to the door! Ah, uh... <laughs> Boy, he moves fast. Well, you know what? No, I must win the next race. I'll beat you to the toads! Yes! Oh, look at Mario go! Ha-ha! I told you, you can't pass! Take off! Wow, those are not toads at all. Exactly, Merlon. Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. <laughs> Reveal your true selves. Oh, what is he doing? Ooh, that's right, baby. Just as I thought, you're the Goopa Bros. How, how'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks! Black, yellow, green! We retreat! For now. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. <laughs> I wonder how they transformed into those toads. They probably did that star-spangled move. That is the American attack turning into toads. Because, as we all know, toads are the ideal citizens of America. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly how they transformed into that. I mean, those are pretty good disguises, other than the fact that they were just being so negative and they had black heads. It just didn't work out. <laughs> they probably did the voices all right, though. But here comes Chapter 1, Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. Let's get this underway, folks. We are finally getting past the introductory stuff of the game, and let's fight this paratroop. I didn't really want to fight these Paragoombas, but now they'll go down in one hit. Hiya! Yes! So much more easier now. Now these fights will go by like a breeze. <laughs> if they didn't put this in the game, woo! I, that could have easily just doubled the length of the game right there. Like, I'm so glad that they just incorporated that whole action command thing with this series, with the Mario Luigi series, because it makes it so much more for me, enjoyable to play. Like, I mean, RPGs are great. Uh, one of my favorite all-time RPGs is obviously Chrono Trigger, and I don't mind the normal formula, but when you shake it up like this, and the fact that you can actually block certain commands, you actually have a little bit of control when it comes to these things. I, I always like that. I don't just like sitting on my hands and letting the action continue. This is why I'm like, I'm not a big fan of a lot of tower defense games, because you just kind of have to sit and wait. But there's one I actually have been liking recently called Dylan's Rolling Western. I like the fact that you actually get control of them. It's been it's been a lot of fun. I'm not a big fan of the Tower Defense series and I'm like a big fan of like strategy RPG games or like uh what is it the tactical RPG games because a lot of the time I'm just like sitting there just letting the action happen and it gets very boring very quickly. So that's why I I like a game like this where it just allows it to be its own type of game. I mean, there really isn't anything like this that came out before it. I don't think so anyways. I mean, other than the actual action RPG, but other than that, I don't really think there was anything quite like this. 
and <laughs> leave it to Mario to be the first one to to do that. That's that's what I just love about it so much. Now the thing is with these Koopas, this is how you can weaken them significantly. <laughs> if you found the Pal Block, go nuts! Yes, I think they have about four or three health each, and they're worth a decent amount of star points, but not as much. Uh, not more than a regular Goomba, so I mean, they're not really worth your time. I just wanted to show them off real quick there, because they are weak to the power block, but the only way to damage them is by knocking them on the sides like that, so you have to jump on them first, but otherwise they're not going to take any damage. I think you'll take one damage from your hammer, but that's it. It's m more worth it to actually just jump on them, because then you will expose them. Whoa, what were you doing in there? Like, see, what, what, that, that spike Goomba came out of nowhere. I mean, all of a sudden, it's just like, whoa, wait a second. How did that happen? How did he even get in that block? That makes no sense. Oh, well. Who am I to question the ways of the spiked Goomba? Probably he likes it in there. How, how should I know? Just for that, you are going to get the scaring of your life. Or should I use that? Ah, I'm just going to use the sleepy sheep. Here we go. Go to sleep and good night. Go to bed and sleep tight. Close your eyes. Go to sleep. I miss the action command. I'm terrible. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, I, w I wonder. Does. Do I actually do damage when he's all- no, not when he's asleep. I guess I have to have his underbelly exposed at all times. There we go, he's- oh no, he needs four health actually. Well, the sleepy sheep does help against normal enemies, but if you're- you think it would work against boss? Yeah, guess again. <laughs> I always used to think they would work, but then nope, it does not do anything. But to, but for regular enemies like this, it will work most of the time. Sometimes the enemies will evade it though, somehow, even though a giant herd of sheep just moved past them. I don't know how a giant herd of sheep would make me sleep, because I would actually be scared for my life. In fact, that would be more frightening than the Fright Jar, because if I saw a herd of sheep just hurtling towards me, I wouldn't fall asleep. I'd run for my life. I wouldn't want to get trampled by those guys. I mean, think of those hooves. Whew. That, would, that would be painful if that they ever trampled on you with those. I mean, good lord. I wonder what the whole theory is behind, like, the sheep. You know, like how counting sheep helps you sleep? What is the whole theory behind that? Like, what, what was it, like, scientifically proven or something? Or is it just like a theory? Or like a, a wives' tale? Like, I, that, that's what I'm curious about. I've never actually looked into it for into great detail. Kitty Beer, you Mario, welcome to Koopa Village. I wish we could really hold welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They are, look like this. <laughs> oh, do you see Mario spin around there? <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> He's just like, oh yeah, I remember you. <laughs> oh no, stupid fuzzy! Don't worry, Koopa, I'll help you out. Yes! No one messes with the power of my hammer. How do you like them apples, Koopa? I know, I, I, even I feel a little embarrassed when you don't have your shell. <laughs> I mean, think about that Mario 64 game, when you take off that shell, he runs for cover and he's kind of like holding up his trousers. It's such a sad sight to see, so I definitely have to help every Koopa in need that is afflicted with this ailment. Take that! Fuzzy, I didn't even know you could jump on them like that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, you could just get endless coins from them. Oh, you can't reach your shell? Don't worry, Koopa, I got you. Ha ha! A friend in need is a friend indeed. Don't worry, Koopa, I got your bag. I do not want that item. That is a dried up mushroom. Yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> it, it only restores one health point. It's kind of like that joke item that you get and you're like, why is it even here? It's such a waste. I think if you cook it, maybe it'll be worthwhile, but I'm not actually that sure. I've never actually tried it, so maybe I'll get it at a later point. Because trust me, we'll be seeing a lot of those. What's up? What? Oh, wow. How are you just relaxing in here while all the other Koopas are su suffering? Of course, things are much better here in the village. The fuzzies are running wild. Poor little bomb moms. Huh, me? I don't leave my house because I couldn't bear it if the fuzzies made a fool of me. They'd probably take my shell play with it. I know I don't look cool without my shell. Nope. No, thank you. I'd rather just stay here and listen to music. What are you listening to? I must listen to. Oh. Oh! This is the greatest station I have ever heard in my life. Is this 92.5? Or, or, or 105.7? <laughs> Why can't... You know what? 
I would love it if someone somewhere were to create a radio station just for airing video game music. Wouldn't that be awesome? Honestly, wouldn't they get like um, a lot of hits? There are so many people out there who listen to endless upon endless video game music. Why not get someone who's really into video games and just have them streamline video game music? Like from any sort of game. Maybe have like an hour or day dedicated to that. That would be awesome. Just think about that idea. I think I'm going to do that in my future. <laughs> like seriously, that would be an awesome idea. Imagine just listening to like Super Mario World on a day. That would, that would be awesome. Can, you know what? Can I actually get this guy? I, I don't even know. I'm trying my best here, but he keeps evading me. I don't I don't think I can. Maybe I have to go into that greenhouse there that seems to be in a bit of a ruckus. No, wait, not I can get you. Do you will not evade Mario? I am faster than all fuzzies. Uh, apparently not this one. Mario, come on! Uh, forget it. I'm just going to go and push this block and help this Koopa out. <laughs> don't worry, man. I'll, I'll save you. There you go. How about that? I might have known you're so clever, Mario. Oh yeah, very clever. I know how to push blocks. <laughs> I'm the most clever of the Koopa Turtles in this one. I know <laughs> they don't know how to push blocks. They can't jump, unfortunately for them. I guess the shells are more heavier than it seems. What's the world coming to when a Koopa can't even step outside for fear of Aziz? I've lived many, many years, and this is the first time I've seen anything like this. Oh, well, at least he's staying in his house. That's actually good for him, because if he were to step outside, he'd probably even ranting more about how, oh, this land is not what it used to be. Husband is never around. My husband? Oh, his name is Colorado. You've heard of him. He claims to be a famous explorer. What do you mean claims to be? He's not? Are you even doubting your, your husband's job? <laughs> Come on, lady. you got to be more faithful than that. Wait, what is back here, actually? I want to know. This is the bookshelf in Colorado Zoo. Most of the books seem to be about archaeology. Also, a few that seem somewhat less intellectual. <gasps> Okay, now I kind of see why she might question that. <laughs> he probably has some magazines that are like, Oh, look at that. Look at all the toys. They look so cool. <laughs> it's probably like a little toy magazine that has all the best action figures. And his wife went back there one day and she's just like, Hmm, I don't know if my husband is exactly an explorer if he's looking at toys. <laughs> Us meeting here has got to be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you can help me out. This wild fuzzy took my shell, which next to my life is the most important thing I have. I can't go without my shell in the period. Way too embarrassing. The problem is the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So if you don't mind, can you help me getting my shell back? Hey Mario, looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll grab the door while you grab him like WOMP! <laughs> I like that. I, I thought he was going to say wimp there. Like he's like, I'll grab the door and you grab him like a wimp. Oh, no, but then he would be insulting us, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think that's what I read it at first when I saw that. I'm like, how dare you call me a wimp? I was here to help you, and then you're going to call me a wimp? How dare you? But Cooper is not that mean, trust me. He's a very, very nice guy. Let's go and get the shell back from him. Where are you, where are you even going? You know what I like is that the fact that he just phased through the house. I don't even know how he did that. He didn't even take the door. I guess fuzzies aren't polite. They're not going to use the door. They're just going to find a way out. They probably crashed through the window or something. Now this first phase doesn't require a lot of concentration for me because it's so slow. I think ah, there the third tree. This is what you've got to do, but it'll get harder and harder as it goes along. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to focus here. Meow, not bad, Chump, but that was just a warm-up. Oh, really? You really going to step up your game this time? Oh, that's a bit faster, but it's really not that alarming. I could just take it easy, right? <laughs> he went right into the same tree. <laughs> it's funny. If I were to not pay attention, and I would guess as to where he's at, usually I would just pick the same place. Characters have habits of doing that. Oh, actually, I lost it there. I think it's this one. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I almost didn't pay attention there. That was close. Because at the last second, I saw that last stream of blue, and then I barely saw maybe it was that tree. Because if you get it wrong once, I think you have to do it all over again. Like from the first phase. I think that's how it goes, although I'm not too sure. Is there a visible block here? No? Uh, but now we get the nice peaceful music of the Koopa Village now that the fuzzies have stopped. 
If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have my no shell on. Oh wow, this is a brave Koopa. No wonder Merlon said to look out for a Koopa with a blue shell. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't put in front of my eyes or something. I like the fact that when he first meets you, he's like, It must be fate or something. Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? <laughs> well, yeah, I just met him. Naturally, he's a Koopa is a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right, well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world saving mis mysteries like he does. So do you think, can I, please take me with you, Mario? What do you think, Mario? I don't take. <laughs> you got I have lots of skills. I work well with others. Well, he's convinced me there. <laughs> I can't see a reason not to. So Cooper is now the second party member. Oh, yeah, he's much more useful than Goombario. He can reach out-of-place things. Like, we've passed a couple of objects that we couldn't quite get to. Now we can get it with Cooper. And as well, he's just, in my opinion, a much more stronger candidate than Cooper. Goombario, and obviously so. I mean, your first party member is meant to be there just to help you along the beginning. And then obviously as you go more along, you're going to get better party members. It's going to work out that way. How do I switch again? I don't even remember. I'm just going to do nothing and have him power shell. Maybe this will take him out. <laughs> I wanted to switch and have him take the damage, but whatever. Because I think Cooper... Oh wait, no, that's Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door I'm thinking of. The Koopa in that game actually has one more defense point than Mario. Now this is actually, ooh. The thing is, trying to do the action timing on this is ridiculous because they have an awkward timing. Like, honestly, they really do. Um, let's jump on this one. I probably should not have done nothing with Mario. I just wanted to switch to Cooper. I thought he would stay up there, but I guess not. Mario just takes the damage at all times because he's so loving and wants to protect all of his people. Oh, wow, that was it. Boom shakalaka, that is why I want my FP up. Specifically for that reason, because Cooper's Power Shell is one of the best moves in the game. Sweeps by all the enemies, it does a lot of damage, it's just really good. It doesn't do much against fellow Koopas, obviously, but it's a very, very good move. And, I mean, I'm going to be using that a lot during this LP. Even partners that come later, I find I come back to Cooper quite a lot. He's quite useful, I will admit. Now that I've got that one, the HP plus basically adds on extra HP, which I don't ever use these badges very much because, I mean, you level up, you're going to get these upgrades anyway. I think you should only use those badges if you're going for like an FP only run or a BP only run or things like that or an HP only run. Things like that, like where you're only going to upgrade one stat, then you should probably use that. Like, uh, oh, well, th I guess the only time you could use that is a BP only run, right? <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do that if you did an HP or FP run. But this is it for today as we have saved the town of the Cooper Village or the village of the Cooper Village. This is Mario Central signing off.